President Trump's win on Election Day capped off a very tense election cycle. And as our John Keller explains, that tension is sticking around. Good morning. It was an intense, draining election, followed by a rocky transition. So has all this taken a toll on your personal life? If so, you're not alone. According to a new national poll taken over the three weeks leading up to Inauguration Day, the number of people Americans reporting like serious arguments with family and friends was up significantly the over last fall at the peak class. of the campaign. 16% of those polled say they have flat out stopped speaking to a close friend or family member because of political disagreements. That number jumps to 22% among Clinton voters. Like and another 13% Say they've actually the ended a relationship with a relative or friend over all of this. So what These findings are disturbing. Normally, after an election, people put it behind them and more or less close ranks behind the new president, who enjoys a honeymoon that typically spots him an approval rating well over 50 percent. But not this time. Donald Trump took office with the lowest ratings in modern times. And I've seen nothing over the first angry weeks of his presidency to suggest any kind of healing is coming anytime soon. Part of this is Trump's own fault. While most presidents-elect immediately shift out of campaign mode into a more conciliatory, statesmanlike posture, Trump continues to pick petty fights and bait his enemies. Some of it is the fault of harsh partisans on both sides and an Internet culture that nurtures lies and hate. But the bottom line is, politics isn't everything. We all have the power to overcome political differences and find our common humanity if we choose to use it. Talk back to me via email at keller at wbztv.com or use Twitter at Keller at large.